Hello and welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. In this week's tutorial, we're going to walk through a quick tip with creating circular text in Adobe Illustrator. So it may seem like a really basic thing, but once you get into it, there are actually a lot of customizable features with circular text that you might not even know about. And circular text is really handy for logos, for icons, if you want to make stickers, if you want to make custom rubber stamps. They're super fun. So I'm just going to walk you through some quick tips and in no time you'll know exactly what to do if you ever need to set circular text in Adobe Illustrator. So we're going to start out with something really simple. We're just going to run it along the path of a circle and then you can see over here this one's a bit more complex. We have our text going one way up here and then it's going the opposite way down here. So I'm going to talk to you about all the different options you have with the positioning and how it reads, which direction it reads as well. So we're just going to start with with this one. So the first thing you need to do is just grab a circle. So over here in your shape tool, you're just going to grab the ellipse tool, hold shift on your keyboard to keep your circle proportional. And then what you want to do is grab your text on a path. Let me move these out of the way. So we've got a little extra room here to move around. Okay, so you just want to grab your text on a path right here, type on a path tool under your text in your toolbox, and then you're just going to go up to the path and you can click anywhere because we can change it later on. And you're just going to click once and then you can begin typing. So I'm just going to type this long drawn out sentence right here just so you can see all the options you have for condensing it all around the circle. Okay, so the font that I'm using right here is called Evolith and it's in the clean regular. I'll leave a link to all the fonts that I'm using right here in the video description. So if you wonder about anything, I have links to both fonts we're using right here. So this is my skinny jeans font, this one's Evolith, as well as a course that I teach on how to create custom rubber stamps like this if that's something you're interested in. Okay, so what we have right here is all of our text set around a circle and if I just deselect it, you can see it's not super fun to read because it starts kind of at a weird place right here. I've got this gigantic gap. Gap, it could be a little fuller. So what I'm going to do is just click on the text and what you need to locate is this kind of line right here that's kind of poking out. It's usually around the middle or it's opposite these two lines right here and it's just a single line that's poking out. So this is one of your main tools when you're setting text on a path or around a circle or a closed shape. And what you can do with this is you can flip it on the inside just by clicking and dragging or you can also move your text and reposition it where you'd like it to go. So for this one I'm just going to reposition it slightly and let's scale up our text a little bit to close this gap right here so I'm going to go up to let's see a 15 that's a little too much let's do 14.5 that feels much better okay so once you have it in a place that you like it you can call it quits you can be all done but if you want to explore other options with setting your text with it selected, you can come up here and go type, type on a path, and go to type on a path options. And this is where a lot of the magic happens. You just want to make sure that you have this preview box right here checked. So when you're using it, you don't really want to mess with any of these effects because things get really weird and pretty unusable from a design standpoint. So I would just avoid the effects completely. But everything else is really fun to, to use and utilize. So if you hit flip, it changes the direction that it reads. So right now it's reading in a clockwise direction, you can read in a counterclockwise direction just by hitting flip. And you can see it also flips it onto the inside of this path. And you can see that I've got text that runs over right here, but we can fix that later just with the text size. You can also change the spacing. So the amount of space between your letters or the tracking, you can change the position of the text on the path. So right now it's using it as a baseline. You can see right here, let me flip this back. This is sitting right on the baseline of the path. If you'd like to change it, you can go to Ascender and that will toggle it down so it's beneath the path. Descender just gives you a little extra space right here. It's as if it's the baseline, but you have extra space. And then center is if you want it directly on the path right here. So lots more options. You can see this one gets a lot tighter right here. So it feels more closed. And I kind of like that one. So I'm going to leave it like that. And that feels good. I think I can reduce this maybe to 14.4. Yeah, and that feels a lot more comfortable. And then you can just drop a shape in if you'd like. Like I have a star right here or anything that you'd like in the middle if you have a logo or anything else. You can just drop that in, select everything, and then just align it all together up here. And then you're all set. 
Okay, so that is the first option. The second option is this one right here. So we're gonna follow the exact same thing, but this time it's a little more complex because we have two different sets of text because they're running in two separate directions. So there's just one extra step to it and then everything else is exactly like we walk through over here. So I'm gonna create a circle once again. So grab your ellipse tool, hold shift and drag out that circle and then grab your text on a path or type on a path tool right here and you're just gonna type your first phrase. So I'm gonna do always sent with in all caps and I'm going to be using my skinny jeans font my skinny jeans font comes in a script in an all caps version so I'm going to grab the all caps version for this and I'm going to scale it up quite a bit so we can see it really well and obviously it's too far down over here so I'm just going to grab this line that's poking up right here and I can move it wherever I need it and I want to move it so it's kind of centered center aligned there we go. And now, if, let me make this a little bit larger so you can see it really well. Let's go to like 24 points. Okay, so I like how this is sitting right here and I want the exact same thing, only I want it going the opposite direction, set in a different phrase right here. So what I'm going to do is copy this because I need it exactly, I just want it to run along the bottom part. So I'm gonna copy it and then I'm going to lock this because I don't want to mess up what I already have. So if you hit Command 2 or Control 2 on a PC, you can lock it and now I can't move it. And now I'm going to paste that copy right on top of it. So Command Shift V or Control Shift V on a PC and that pastes it directly on top. And now if I double click the text and I edit it, so it's always arriving with. And now I can just grab my line up here and drag it around. And then I want it flipped onto the inside. So if I just grab this line and pull it to the inside, it will sit right on the bottom line right there. And then I can just toggle it a little further if I want. And there we go, it's perfectly aligned in the center. And that's exactly how I need it. I could also head back into my type type on a path options if I wanna fuss with it further, or if it's being a little finicky or annoying or jumping all over the place, which it tends to do sometimes. Always head into your type type on a path options. You have to make sure it's selected first. Type, type on a path options. And just remember to hit this little preview box right here and then you can play around with it and get it exactly how you'd like it. Okay, so the last thing to do is just grab your other text. So this is skinny jeans and it's all script. You can see it's the script version of the font. I'm just gonna scale it up because my circle's a little bit larger on this example. And set it right in the middle right there and then it's all set and then you want to just make sure you unlock this top one because if you want to group everything together and move it together right now it's locked and it won't move so you can unlock it by going to object unlock all now it's unlocked now i can select everything and group it together and now it moves together as one so that's a quick tip on how to set and create circular text in adobe illustrator if you enjoyed this tutorial please subscribe and don't forget to head on over to my site every hyphen tuesday.com for even more design and lettering tutorials and freebies Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time.